Warning, the following features adult themes, violence, indication of self-harm, acts of suicide, and vague nudity. Viewer's discretion is advised. Hey yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. As always, thank you guys very much for clicking on this video. And today for you guys, I have a horror game called... This game comes with a crazy warning in the description, so I probably made that clear in editing. By the looks of it, it looks like this could be a more, I don't know, sensitive type game that I've played on my channel. I don't know exactly what to expect, but it does say that it's only 8 to 10 minutes long and that it has one ending. And so that's that was the selling point for me. So anyway, link is in the description below and let's get into Incoherence. She is dead. She is fucking dead. Off to a great start. Not really though. Oh, okay. Uh, whoa. Whoa there. <laughs> what the? Okay, I think, uh, movement interaction. I need to get dressed. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I heavily agree. All right, so, all right, let's get dressed up in here. Put our dang clothes on. It's not how I was expecting this game to start out. Now we wait for a call. Um, alright, so it looks like we're in some cheap hotel room. We got alcohol on the table. Um, it just looks like a sad environment, you know. Uh, no need for the keys yet. Alright, so we're waiting for a call. Oh, great. We got medicine. Sure. Prescribed to drugs. I rather smoke. Well, they're out for, I don't know, if they're not yours, and why are they out? There's that call. Yes, Dr. Calkins. I'm on my way. Alright, whatever, I'm not even going to say nothing about it. I'm on my way, so now I need the keys? Alright, I got my keys, so which one's the exit door? Ah, whatever. I was hoping this wasn't the exit door, but I guess it was. Dr. Calkins is in room 16. Okay... See, are we going the right way? I see a guy over there already. This cannot be Dr. Calkins. Hello, sir. I need to get to Dr. Calkins' room. Okay, uh. Kate, thanks a lot for visiting me in the hotel. I understand this might not be your usual practice, but I really needed a talk. I am glad you decided to see this again. Oh no, I, I am glad you decided to do this again. Consider your position. Considering your position and tragic circumstances, I was more than willing to help. Can you tell me, once again, why did you decide to move from your apartment and pay a great deal of money for this hotel? After what happened to my sister, I was unable to stay there. Every night, I had the same nightmare about her, and it was a torture for me. I was lucky enough to get some money from my employer, at least for now. I do not have to worry about paying the rent and I can enjoy a hotel pizza. Kate, this is not healthy. You have to face the issue right up front. You cannot live in this hotel forever. You talked about the nightmares. Can you describe them to me? They are very real at times, but usually when I wake up, the, nightmare, the nightmares does not end. I have this deep feeling, more like a voice telling me to do something. What does that voice tell you to do exactly, Kate? It is very important to say it out loud to, ins to ensure that it, it is not real. The voice tells me to kill someone. To kill? Who does the voice specify a person? A name? Did I read that right? To kill? Who? Does the voice specify a person? A name? Is it somehow connected to your sister's suicide? Kate. I need you to focus on this. I don't know. It just tells me to kill. I see my sister and she is so real, but there is something off about her. Something sinister in her voice. Kate, does your sister tell you to kill someone? Do you see her? Do you see your sister in this room right now? Oh my god. Kate, Kate. 
the doctor see it? I am sorry, I am sorry, my head hurts. The medication is not helping at all, and I don't know what to do. I fucking don't know how to get her out of my head. Kate, I need you to stay alert at all times. I will prescribe something for the headache. We will meet again in three days, alright? If there is an emergency, please call me. Alright, alright. I will try to do the med meditation technique you told me about. Thanks again for the talk. It means more to me than you can imagine. Looking forward to the next visit. Wow, okay. Excuse my reading sometimes. Psh, okay, uh, I should go back to my room. What room was that? I don't even know which number I was in. Okay, I don't like having to pass this guy, first of all. This, I don't know which room I was in. Okay, it's not five. Okay, well. Looking at the painting, Saya? Sir? Is that an old lady? I can't tell. Four is not mine. And there's a... Oh, is that supposed to be my sister down there? Oh, it was number three. What is that on the table? Dear Miss Anderson, we hope this letter finds you well, and I want to extend our appreciation for choosing Velvet Vista Hotel for your recent stay. Unfortunately, it has come to our attention that there are some issues that require immediate attention. We have received multiple complaints from other guests and our staff regarding loud banging noises and an unpleasant odor originating from your room. To ensure the comfort and tranquility of all our, all our guests, we kindly request that you please adhere to the hotel's noise policy and be mindful of your noise level. If there is a specific issue or concern that requires our attention, please do not hesitate to contact our front desk. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation in this matter. We look forward to the remainder of your stay at our hotel. Sincerely, Velvet Vista Hotel Manager. Okay. So, it's getting... Oh my god. It's getting loud in here. <laughs> no. That's terrible. I don't need to use it right now. What's on the bed right here? My clothes? What do I want to do with these? Just put these somewhere else? Somehow I am tired. I should lay down. I want to see if this bedroom or room is accessible. Locked. Oh. Oh, maybe it's like the other... You know how like in some hotel rooms, you'll have like that door next to the entrance. And it goes like to the next room or something. Alright, let's go to bed. Who's knocking? Can't they leave me alone? Well, if there's a clock in here, wouldn't you be able to check what time it is? Who's knocking? Excuse me. Hello? That's the wrong door. What the fuck? I should close that. Hey, not to mention, it's super quiet. Ooh! Oh, shit! Wow, the sensitivity just launched up. Like, like the sensitivity just shot up. Okay, so now we're in a completely different environment. I don't know how to turn that sensitivity. That's locked. Okay. Oh, gosh. Anything interesting? Why the fuck did I even come here? This hospital is rotten. I wish my sister was here, but as usual, she has too many fucking problems to deal with. Unlike me, a drug addict who is trying to break free from all of this. Okay. Is this the end of the line? Okay. So we're in a hospital. Very fun. I'm assuming these doors are locked, so I don't exactly want to keep trying them. So let's just see if going forward takes us anywhere. Okay, that's a quick no. What? Okay, so I don't know then. Computer? Vending machine? I don't like how quiet it is in here. What? Oh, wait. There's a note on the wheelchair. Every day is the same loop. I go to this hospital, get some medication, try to be a better self. Yeah, but what is the point? My sister doesn't give a shit anyway. I might die tomorrow and she won't even remember. That's a very tragic, sad thing to say. Alright, and this is the same loop that she's mentioned. Oh man. Alright, what's in this? 
Nothing? Okay. Oh, here's another note. My medical history is pretty short. Nothing of value in broken things. But maybe if my sister is interested, maybe if she can pick up the phone and at least once be curious, all I can do is hope for the best. Bullshit phrase. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. We're just learning a bit about the history and uh, getting some information. What the fuck? Nothing here. I should search the rest. Okay, that scared me. Okay. Searching for information. Nothing here. I should search the rest. Search the rest of what? Oh, there's another box. Oh my gosh, I'm blind. Is this the box that I missed? Okay, it must be. I found something. Demography? Or details? This blank year... Some Okay, okay. This blank year old patient presents for... Of alcohol. Wait, patient presents four of alcohol and cannabis withdrawal? History was obtained from the patient. Chief complaint I want rehab I have been using. General history, circumstances of admission. Patient is a single blank year old, double A woman, I don't know what that means, with bipolar disorder, alcohol, and cannabis abuse, other blank dependents, who was admitted in with symptoms of depression, including CAH of voices telling her to hurt herself. She has done outpatient program and wants to change her life this time. Referral papers reviewed, a discharge summary, discharge instructions, physical exam reviewed. That must be my sister, right? Okay, or maybe that's me? Cannabis, alcohol use. Wants to get better. I thought my character was saying that she wanted... Oh my... We're gonna have to go meet her. We're gonna have to face her fears. This is for the betterment of her and myself. Times get hard, but the only way through is to break free and get to the other side. Because the best things on the life are the other side of fear. Oh my gosh, okay. Alright. Shit! Damn battery died. Now what? Oh my god, it just got like low poly outlast out in here. Okay, um oh another note. Do you feel it now? Do you feel guilty? You selfish bitch. You abandoned me when I needed you. You made a promise. You said you were always going to be with me. Go back, go back and end this. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what I did. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for things to go this way. You have to, like, I forgive you. And, and please forgive me. Kate. Oh no, that's me. I don't know why I do that. I should check on my sister first. Okay. Oh my god. What the hell? No, this is this is a bad scene right here. Is this checking on her? Oh my god. Okay, is this checking on her? I don't know. No. Wow, there's blood everywhere. What? There's a gun. Why do I why did I pick up a gun? Oh. What? Did I end myself? Um. Wow. Is the game implying that like I let the guilt get to me and I couldn't handle it? That was a crazy game. It definitely uh, encompassed something a lot more uh, tragic and potentially more sensitive. That was incoherent, and um, if you guys have any better way of explaining it to me better than I have tried to understand it, then go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. Stuff like that. 
I like interacting with the comments and replying to people like that. More games on the way, and uh, I hope you like this episode. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day, and peace out.